Hello everybody, it's Boaz Fader and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for August 7th, 2016. I hope you're enjoying your weekend. Today we have a lot of things going on in the sky. We have the moon in Libra uh, conjuncting Hygieia in the morning. Suggests to me that uh, we can be dealing with all kinds of procedures because it's sextile Saturn as well that um, make our work environment or our projects or our career environments much more efficient, cle cleansing things out and recalibrating things. We have to remember not to put ourselves at the end of the priority list today with the Queen Kong, to Neptune, between the Moon and Neptune, that can evoke some kind of martyr-like tendencies or just cancelling out ourselves and putting everybody in front of us. And that's not a good thing if we want to keep on enjoying and doing things for others and catering to others for the rest of our lives. We need to put ourselves high enough on the priority list. The evening is nice, but the night time in Europe or uh, evening time in the States can be much more explosive with a square to, Nep uh, I'm sorry, a square to Pluto that makes us all much more dramatic, taking things out of proportions, and we need to remember that uh, to avoid it. What I really wanted to talk to you about is Mercury, the planet of navigation and the planet of commerce, the planet of communication of our thoughts and words is on the North Node for the next few days. And that's an, a very important energetic portal. So this is a great time, an important time to keep on planning your life, to keep on charting your life, to set those goals. The only danger in this time is because it opposes Neptune that is on the south node. We can be less realistic than we need to be. We could be putting on our rose tinted glasses when we really should be very critical and, and, and pragmatic and see things on the ground as they are and not as we want them to be or not as we are afraid they are. But just being very real, keeping it real and keeping it practical practical. So these are two key words that we need to remember. But utilizing, harnessing that imagination that comes from Neptune and, and, and really taking those brave steps forwards, utilizing that inspiration, but not letting it uh, cut the cord from the ground of reality and, and, and let us float up to the heavens with no, no touch with what's really going uh, on on the ground. So, um, one more thing, Venus is still squaring Mars in the sky. We could be a little less patient in our relationships, and that's another thing we need to be mindful of. Thank you for listening. This is Boaz Fader. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.